What is going on LEGO Investor? So today we're going to go over the sales that are out this week. I typically try to make these videos on Sunday because that's when Target drops their sales and Target typically offers the best sales. So many of you are aware that we have not gotten any sales for a little while. I think we're going on about a month since we got our last Target sale, which was pretty decent. Not the best, not the worst, but it was great that we did get a sale. Sadly, the same month, or I should say same week, another disappointment we are waiting for the next sale to happen at target which it's got to be any day now target just has so much inventory and all stores have so much inventory we're starting to see sales gradually we might see a few bucks here and there they're even knocking off cents every so often but if you really pay attention we're starting to see it more and more so i definitely think target is going to offer a sale any day now and i would bet it's probably going to be a gift card sale Gift card sales really, really suck, but you need to get those out of the way. They always typically do it. They don't really sell a whole lot, and then that's when we get the normal sales. The gift card sales really only work when you can kind of harvest maybe like helmets or a similar type set. It's not really worth it when you're, you know, spending $100 on a set, getting $10 off. Like, that's nice, but it works when you're buying a $50 to $55 Star Wars helmet and then knocking off $10, you know. It, it works but I overall hate them so definitely waiting for regular sales so shout out to everyone that tunes in every Sunday to watch this video I appreciate everyone that comments likes the videos it really really helps the channel so I appreciate you and I truly want to start making better better videos for you which it will come so I'll give my thoughts and opinions on what we're working with this week we do got some sales and some new pricing so I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on these if I missed any sales please let us know the comments are becoming very very active and this is what my goal was to build a community so definitely let us know your thoughts and opinions if we missed any anything comment it it definitely helps the channel and it helps the community but let's dive into it so yeah no real sales going on at target we literally just have i think a bathrobe a lego bathrobe that's on sale but we're starting to see new pricing more and more and when i say new pricing the sets offer a new pricing typically it's like the sale price that becomes the new price and then those are great because in the future when those sets go on sale we get an even better price so we want them to drop in price so this may be a repeat but if anyone's new to the channel new to the videos i want them to be aware of these sets that are really a decent price and that everyone should look out for because we want these sets to go on it on a sale so first up we've got the boarding of tantive 4 i believe this is dropping in price i think it was what 51 dollars last week it's now 449 that is great we are definitely going to see it continue to drop in price we're definitely going to get an awesome sale on this eventually whether black friday or a different type of sale but keep an eye out on this one it is going down gradually next up we've got the clone trooper and battle droid battle pack this is now 27.49 so i'm not a big fan of battle packs i kind of been burned on a lot of battle packs but there's money in battle packs if you can buy a ton and take small profits that's how it works you're not going to get this it, this profit will never hit $60 I think a realistic expectation on this one in the future might be 10 to 20 dollars so next up is the Batmobile we're seeing this drop more and more it's now 38.49 keep an eye out on Walmart if you did not see my video on the three in one Batman set that's you're getting the Batmobile, the Batwing, and then the Batman poly bag for 50 bucks. I'm sure that will probably come back in stock, but we're going to see this continue to drop or it's going to go on a massive sale. I think this might be one of the Black Friday sales, but I could definitely see this selling for $50 one day. Next up is the Chewbacca. This is $159. I do not think this is a good investment, but I'm just making you aware in case you really want this for personal buying, you can get it cheaper at Target than other locations. I think you'll lose money if you buy this set. Next up is the Ahsoka Tano's T6. It's now $69.99. A lot of people like this set. I think I think it's going to be a rough sell in retirement. You're probably looking at a $20 profit max. And then next up, the Nightmare Shark Ship. I know a lot of kids love this, so if you're a parent wanting to buy this, keep an eye on this. This is $103 at Target. And when we get an even when we get a sale on this, it's going to be even better. And then next up is the Lamborghini Lamborghini Countach. $15.99 is my buy price for LEGO Speed Champions. I love this set. I think it's going to do $30 minimum in retirement. And that's my sell price. If I make anything beyond that, I'm super happy. 
But I wouldn't be surprised on Black Friday if this goes for $12.99 or maybe $11.99 just like the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger did, which that one is doing phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I think that's probably the best Speed Champion set ever. And next up is the Optimus Prime. I love this set. I think this one is a sleeper. I think this is going to be a very, very long hold, but $143 is an awesome price for the set. But when we do get it on sale, it's going to be even more sweeter. I definitely see this selling for $200 plus in you know, years down the line, maybe even $250 or more. But we'll have to see how the Transformers theme does, if we get a ton of them or if we just get a few of them, it could really affect it a lot. But either way, I think this is a great, great set. Even though it's a horrible build with the legs, I get it. It's still Optimus Prime. I love Transformers. Next up is, well, yeah, here's the official sales, the pajama set, and then the fleece bathrobe. So yeah, that's what's going on at Target. You just need to keep an eye out on these small sets like this one, 449 drop in the price more and more. So let's check out Walmart, uh, Amazon, or I'm sorry, Walmart. So Walmart's got really not nothing really going on. We just got the typical sales, nothing new this week. The Countach is on sale for $15.99. But I do want to say like the office set, item number 21336. When is this one going to go on sale? This one has never been on sale. I've seen it at Walmart in store. I think it sold for $100 at some point, but this one just has not gone on sale. And it is not selling. There's no way this is the, what's that, the toy of the year? Ain't no way. I think that's a lie. I think they're using this as a tactic to try and sell it more. So yeah, nothing really going on. I mean, keep an eye out on the Star Wars Jedi Master gift set, the three epic builds in one box. Item number 66787. If we get this on an insane discount, like 30 bucks, I would buy it. But it has to be at an insane discount. The 3-in-1 packs are really, really rough. But you should keep an eye out on the Batman 3-in-1. I think that is a decent value. And it's awesome as a collector to have those 3-in-1 packs. And let's check out Amazon. Amazon, we just got the typical sales. Here's some that we should be aware of. You know, the Walt Disney tribute camera. Item number 43230. 86 bucks. I think it's a great display piece. I'm not really a big fan of it, but this, I, it could be a sleeper. I just, I just really am not a big fan of it. And I'm not a big fan of Disney. Disney has lost, I think, their fan base. So I'm not sure anyone's going to pay a premium for this one in the future. But if you're wanting it for personal use, it is on sale. The next up is the Spider-Man Daily Bugle, item number 76178, 30, 321. Keeps going in in stock out of at at places so i'm really hoping that amazon has a ton of inventory because i'm really wanting to pick this up for 275 on black friday i think there's a good chance if it is in stock then next up is the droideka 54.99 i think this is a horrible set to invest in but if you're looking for personal keep an eye out on that the next up is the indiana jones temple the golden idol 126 bucks i think this is a solid set i think indiana jones is rough now but you know this is a long hold five to ten years down the line you might be able to double your money and if we get it on an even di deeper discount i think there's a chance i think this is probably the best indiana jones set out of the three but i'd love to hear your opinions on that the next up is the clone trooper and battle droid uh battle pack this one's on sale for 27 21 kind of trying to match target i wouldn't be surprised if Am amazon offers there for 23.99 that's typically what they go for that's how the 501st battle pack went for so i i bet it's going to drop any day now the next up is the star wars r2d2 item number 75306 this one's on sale for 210 i don't think this is a good investment i think the much smaller r2d2 with malik malik is awesome i think that one's going to be a big big hit but if you're looking for this per personal use that number might work for you and then the eldorado fortress i love this set it has not been selling well it's only on sale six percent we're gonna see a deeper discount it's inevitable it has to go on a deeper discount to sell the inventory but if you're wanting it for personal use right now, hey, you could save a few bucks. And then let's check out Best Buy. Best Buy sells uh, Lego sets if you weren't aware. We got the Batman Mech, which, speaking of which, I think the Batman Mech should have been in, included in the 3 three and one Batman set instead of the Poly Bag. I think that would have been a much better set to have. But anyways, we got the Disney, uh, the Disney Celebration Train, item number 43212, $31.99. I think there might be some potential with this. There might be a $20 profit with it. Then we got Sonic. Sonic is really tough. I need to start making some videos on it. And I would love to hear if you think I should start making some more videos on it. But 
Right now, it's looking like Sonic's going to do horrible in retirement. I know a lot of my subscribers have been purchasing some Sonic sets, but I think it's just been too rough. And I think they just there's going to be too much inventory and not enough demand, and it's really going to hurt the sets in retirement. But you could say 12 bucks there. Then we got some friend set, Flower, the Droid Yetka's on sale. Some more Flowers. We got some Avengers set, Captain America. I hate the mechs. I hate the construction figures that they're doing. They need to stop that. It really, really is annoying. Then we got some Donkey Kong sets. Not a big fan of Mario or Donkey Kong investing-wise. I love them personal-wise, but Lego form, I think there's just too much inventory. Then we got some more friends. The Tanu Jedi Temple. I'm waiting for this one to hit like 18 bucks, but I have a feeling this one might be in stock for a very long time after retirement. And then we got the Atari 2600, 191 bucks here. I think the Atari is going to be a bad investment. And yeah, that's what we got going on at Best Buy. Let's check out Lego. Lego.com. Typically, we don't get a lot of sales. We just get the repeats. The Disney Palace of Agrabah, $27.99. Not invested in that. Jade Rabbit, Jake Sully, passing on those. The Tree of Souls, I'm keeping an eye on this one. I need this one for like 80 bucks to feel comfortable, but I do think there is profit in this set. I hate Avatar. I hate the movie. I hate the Lego sets. I think the Lego sets are a clear indication of people's opinions on Avatar. But this set is beautiful and really unique. I think there is some money, maybe a 30 to $40 profit one day. Then we got the Velociraptor Escape. Passing on that, I need more dinos. And it's a very expensive set for what you get. The Adventures with Pete Starter Course, passing on that. BTS Dynamite, would not invest in that ever. Some more Avatar sets, passing on Hulk, Hulkbuster. Like, come on, Lego drop the price to $200. It will sell. It ain't gonna sell at $384. And then Donkey Kong, you know, with Peach's Castle expansion set again. The Crab Suit with Avatar passing on that. And let's see, on page two, do we got anything? Yeah, just some friend sets and some keychains. I really wish we'd get some more keychains. Like, these have been on sale forever. Like, I would love to pick up some of these for a dollar, you know, $1.50. That should be the sale price. Because I'll include them in with my sales. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. Not a whole lot, but keep an eye on Target. I'm going to keep making these videos. I appreciate everyone that tunes in every week, watches the full amounts of videos, comments, likes the videos. It really, really helps the algorithm, and it really helps the channel. So I hope you have a great Sunday, and I hope you get the sales that you're searching for. But as always, please do your own research. Have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.